wires and metal beams are typically not what you want to see in a car. But as a Lucid engineer punched the accelerator, only Lucid employees are allowed behind the wheel. The pre-production air I sat and tore down the road of the Fremont Industrial Park. The vehicle was only operating at half power. That's about where Lucid Motors is at too. It has unveiled its luxury electric vehicle and started taking pre-orders, but the factory it needs to build those cars doesn't exist yet and it'll be 2018 before production begins on the air, its debut vehicle. Actually, the company is operating at about 30% of power. Maybe 20%. What it showed off at its event was impressive, though. The air is a bona fide luxury vehicle, with leather trim and wood accents throughout the interior. The metal exterior gives way to a swooped back glass roof, creating the feeling of more space to the already roomy passenger cabin. I'm 6 foot, 3 inches, and finding a car with ample room in the front is difficult. The air's front and back seats accommodated my long legs and rather large head with no problem. That's not surprising, since the car is aimed squarely at the BMW 7 Series, which also has a spacious interior. What was a surprising addition was the back seat that reclined, similar to the seats in first-class aircraft. It's an odd feeling lying in the back of a vehicle, staring up through its glass roof. But I could get used to it. In fact, who could be bothered to ride shotgun when you can nap your way to your destination? But the air isn't just about going fast and being comfortable, both of which are an integral part of the American dream. There's a lot of technology inside of these cars, 